Like lion, leopards are also opportunistic. But if their prey is older and more experienced, they could be in for a fight. My wife Alice and I were in Mashatu in southern Botswana on a photo workshop. And one evening, we went out on the game drive and came across a leopard. He looked off into the distance and noticed something along the dry riverbed. We spotted a porcupine sort of waddling along. And of course, the leopard got up and then started to, to try and figure out what the porcupine was about. And you can see the young leopard trying to learn what it is that he can do to either roll over the porcupine or get him to react in such a way that he can get a, a, a head grab or, or whatever way he can to, to try and take his prey. Neither of the two animals would give ground. The porcupine is not the least bit intimidated. What a racket. But I think you'll find that the, the leopard actually learned some rather difficult lessons. Oh, got another one. Yeah, that hurt. Still at it. The porcupine had plenty more in reserve, and uh, he was ready to take on just about anything at that point, I think. All right. Have I had enough? <laughs> We've been going to Londolosi now for past 14 years. We were returning from a morning game drive when we came across Vamba. She's a female leopard that we have observed from the time she was a cub. She's particularly beautiful. So of course we decided to follow her. She lay down next to a termite mound. I became aware of something moving across the termite mound behind the bushes. She got up to investigate. Armed with 200 recurved teeth and coils powerful enough to suffocate its prey, the python is a noteworthy adversary. The python also bit at her, at which point she pulled the whole thing out. He had escaped a bite from the python. As a last effort, she tried to pull at the tail again. The python would have made a fine meal, but the risks are too high. 